Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mount Komoribi. This world came with Snowy Escape. And just a heads up, I am recording audio differently today. So if you have been watching my other videos this month and you notice anything different about the audio in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd like to know if this setup is worth it or if I should just stick with the headset. With that out of the way, here are some pictures that we'll be working from today. As you can see, I kind of have more traditional styles as well as more modern constructions. And we will be going over both of them today. If you watched my how to do an island roof video, you're going to notice a lot of similarities. Um, the main difference being that when we curve in a Japanese architecture style, the curve tends to be more concave as opposed to convex on the island. I'm going to start with a hipped roof on top here. And just like with the island, we are going to be layering these roof pieces for the more traditional style. So we're going to pitch it down a touch, hit shift C, and then using these extra curve controls, I'm going to bring the eaves up and bring this down about like that. Next, I'm going to grab a gable and face it toward the front of the build. Shift C again and do my best to line this up with the rest of the roof. How you can tell if your roof is lining up or not is if this white area is just overlapping, it should be pretty well lined up. From here, we will add roof trim. And the good news is this pack actually came with some roof textures um, because it's not generally steel or thatched, but is instead has more of these tile-like um, shingles that I'm suddenly forgetting the name of. And that's sort of the base process for getting this roof style. There are also some roof decorations you can add for extra dimension on the roof. Hold down shift to be able to place multiple pieces without having to reselect the item. And there's a start. Down here, I'm going to start with a half gable, and I'm going to cover a little bit of the porch here. I'm going to bring in this eave, push up a bit, and give just a bit of a curve. Over the front door, I'm once again going to add a gable with the open end facing out. I'm going to push in these eaves to hide them, bring the pitch down to mimic what we have going up here, then add the same texture, and ornamentation. I'm going to copy this gable from the top to cover the remaining sides of the roof here and here and then copy this one to cover the back. If you want to add more detail on the side here you would copy your hip roof and bring it to size. Some roofs have a pretty dramatic overhang so if you're copying an image with those you'll just want to bring out the eaves a bit here and those are the basic steps for creating a more traditional Japanese style roof. Because the roof pieces are curved, especially in a concave curve, you are going to have to play a lot with getting the pieces to line up properly. Holding Alt can be a really helpful tool and when in doubt, just add more roof pieces. Speaking of adding roof pieces, in order to get this to look like a more modern construction, we are actually going to be removing roof pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is replace all of our wooden siding with a more modern stucco siding. Get rid of the extra ornamentation on the top roof and then get rid of about half the roof pieces. For example, this one, this one, and this one. I'd probably also straighten out some of these curves a bit, although not completely. And that is how I would roof a traditional meets modern Japanese home. If these tips helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. By this time next week, I will have released a video going over some tips and tricks on roofing with round walls, as we are getting those, I believe, on Tuesday. I am super excited. So if you are also looking forward to building with round walls and want some tips and tricks to get you started on the roofing, don't forget to follow along for that. You can check out the top card here for more roofing tutorials or check out the bottom card, which is more specific styles broken down. So let me know how I'm doing in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.